Olivia here from Recollect and Ramble. Hope you're all having a great day. I am back with another vintage haul for you. Um, I've been doing a lot of shopping lately and I found some great stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to share those with you. And if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe. If there's anything that you find you want to give a new home to, then please contact me and we'll talk about that. All right, let's get started. Um, there's one thing that I don't know. I don't know if I shared this with you. Um, but sometimes, uh, one of the resale stores that I like to go to has a free rack out front. You've probably heard me talk about that before. Uh, this was on there. It's just a little art print. Um, but I really like it. I haven't done any, uh, looking into it at all. It's still in the original package. It looks like somebody maybe tore the corner off. Um, but the package is completely sealed. Anyway, it's really a lovely little print. Um, Anton Peak, it looks like. Um, printed in Holland. So, anyway, just that little guy. Not sure if it's anything special, but I kind of like it. Maybe it'll end up in a junk journal. I don't know. So, all right, that was the first thing. Just sitting on top there. Um, next, I do have a few books uh, this week. This is the Field Guide to Shells. Um, what year is this from? This is, mm, 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 mm. it's by Percy Morris and it is 1956. So this is just a field guide for different shells. You can see that there, um, I already noticed there's some folded pages, um, but lots of color plates and these are actual photographs of the shells. So lots of descriptive pages, but then, then we've got black and white and color photographic plates. Uh, this is a nice little book, and you can find this in Recollect and Ramble right there. Uh, next, I have a Peterson Field Guide to Medicinal Plants, Eastern and Central Medicinal Plants. Um, Peterson Guides are always great. Uh, this, let me just double check. It's a uh, little, got a little bit of a faded spine. Somebody had their, their, uh, bookcase in the sunshine. Let me see what year this book is from. This is from 1977. So it is vintage and these will have lots of nice, uh, just you know, black and white illustrations, hand-drawn illustrations. And then in the center will be photographs of, of some of those plants that are uh, described. And they're usually arranged, um, I, th I think, by like shape and or color. Um, but yeah, this is a great book either for identifying medicinal plants or it is um, great for for using as uh, inspiration for collage or for junk journaling. So there you go. Peterson Guide to Medicinal Plants. Uh, next, this is um, a book. It is all in Russian. It is Pushkin. Um, I think I wrote down, yes, Selected Works of Pushkin. This is from 1968. Um, this is all in Russian Cyrillic script. Uh, I think this is beautiful fodder for, uh, I know that Russia is not the most popular country right now, um, but the Cyrillic script is beautiful. And um, there are every once in a while, I think I just passed one, um, some illustrations in this book. Uh, not very many, I mean, as you can tell, it's not really an illustrated volume. Um, but yeah, lots of, lots of pages there for collage fodder, or maybe you read Russian and you would like to read the selected works of Pushkin. So there's that one. That's going to be in Recollect and Ramble as well. Let's see what else I've got going on here. Oh, here is um, a very nice uh, cursive script, uh, rubber stamp, mounted rubber stamp, uh, it is, what is the name of this one? Italian Poetry Background. So yeah, uh, it's in, it is in used, but gently used. It's been pretty well cleaned. It is from Hero Arts. 
and it's just a nice big background stamp. Once again, Recollect and Ramble. Pretty much like I said before, everything's going to be in Recollect and Ramble, unless I tell you um, it's going to be in eBay. <laughs> so maybe I will get out of the habit of actually saying, and eh, this is going to be in Recollect and Ramble. Doubt it. So you'll just gonna, you're just you just going to have to put up with me, I suppose. <laughs> now here I have um, some playing cards. These I am going to part out. Uh, you can buy them in lots of four. There's this very, it's, it's the same picture, only with a little bit different color shift. So we've got, um, yeah, this green and yellow daisies in a basket and the more pink and I guess maybe brown mauve uh, daisies in a basket. So those will be available in lots for you to purchase just a few of at a time. Um, let me see. I think I had another... Another, I had another set. It was a it was a day full of daisies, you guys. Um, I found this set. Now the reason I'm parting these out, yes, these are sets, and this box doesn't look like it's too bad, um, but the cards are definitely well used. Um, around here where we live, there's a game called euchre. <laughs> I don't know if euchre is popular where you are. Um, but what happens is you only use about half the deck. And as you can see, I hope you can see there, these cards, uh, part of this deck is going to be brand new, hardly ever touched. The other half is going to be, uh, you know, just well, well loved. There's the, there's the difference between the, the cards you use in Euchre and the cards that you don't. And look at the wear on these. I actually like these better because I like things with a little wear and tear on them. Um, but yeah, so these are going to be offered as sets and Recollect and Ramble as well. Um, let me move on. Just going to grab stuff as I find it. Now these have been in my possession for a really long time. Uh, I used to make um, jewelry and I thought at one point I maybe would use these. Uh, but I never, I never did. I really couldn't just bring my, <laughs> myself to do anything weird with them. Now, these are little old-fashioned, they're like curtain tiebacks, um, but they are tacks. And anyone who lives in an old house will know uh, about these. Let me get these in the center of the frame. I'm... I want to pick them up, give you a nice close look at them. Um, you will notice some fairly large, these are big tacks, some fairly large holes in uh, the woodwork on the sides of windows about halfway up. They were caused by these way back when, I don't know how long, maybe these are from the 20s or 30s. I'll have to look that, look that information up. Uh, they would have just pulled the curtain back smacked one of these into the wood <laughs> and um yeah i mean they're pretty they're floral but uh yeah they really did a lot of damage to woodwork so i'm gonna see about getting those um posted online for sale as well um let's see what am i grabbing next Ooh, this is a pottery vase native american pottery vase this is sue <coughs> excuse me this is Sioux Pottery. Um, it is vintage. It is signed by the artist, and the artist is uh, named um, L. Red Elk. And I did look this person up. I will have the information in the listing. Now, if you are interested in this piece, uh, please let me know. And um, yeah, or if you have any information on this, I haven't found a ton of information about this artist. Um, but I think this is really a beautiful little vase. So that's going to get posted hopefully sometime next week. So I said I'm, I'm working right now on getting some of the items that I had last week actually up online. So, um, yeah, it just takes me a while to take those photos. I want to make them look pretty, make them, make them look accurate, and, uh, yeah, get those up on on into my into my store so people can give them a new home uh, this little guy he's a little home co 
Bunny looks like maybe he's got some fleas. <laughs> anyway, he's cute. He is super cute. And of course, all the stores have their Easter stuff out now. He's in perfect condition. I might do just a little bit of cleaning up on him. But yeah, cute little bunny. He's going to be available next week as well. Let's see. Let me reach in here. Oh, this piece is is uh, really, really, really cool. I do believe that this is a religious, uh, I don't know, used, used in some sort of uh, religious or ceremonial celebrations. Um, I've seen it online listed as a Kwanzaa cup. Um, oh, let me get my inventory number out of there. Um, this one was actually purchased. Shrine of the Black Madonna Bookstore and Culture Center in Atlanta, Georgia. So very possibly a Kwanzaa cup, hand carved, beautiful. It's um, nicely finished on the inside. So, yeah, that's going to be available hopefully soon as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely piece. I was very happy about that. Let's see what else we've got hiding down here. Oh, I found this guy too. Another bunny rabbit just in time for Easter. This cute little guy is, uh, I don't think there's any signature. I don't know what wood he's made from, but I love the green. It's just beautiful. So yeah, just a little hand-carved <laughs> wood rabbit. That's, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> so, yep, he will go into, should I say it, Recollect and Ramble? Um, let me see what else. Boy, it's, it's been a, oh, I guess my basket got a little too heavy over here. I keep everything in a basket. Let me get these out because these are what's weighing things down. Let me see if you can see the whole thing. Uh, I have two of these, these magic magnetic photo albums in the original packaging, never been used, never been opened. These I am going to offer individually. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. These are like vintage, are they 70s, you guys? These are probably vintage 70s, probably bought at, you know, Kmart or something somewhere so those are going to be available actually I may just keep them down here because they just take up too much room in <laughs> my other basket I've only got a few more things to show you um and uh yeah then I can get back to getting stuff posted uh here we go you guys this is a very vintage Disneyland um a little souvenir fluted souvenir plate uh, sold all over the place. These are kind of awesome. I love them. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just what it is. A uh, little trinket holder, candy dish. This one does have sort of a manufacturing flaw. It is not, uh, sharp. I mean, I suppose it is if I really wanted to whack my finger against it, but there is just a little bit of a, a point and that's just, uh, like a mold flaw or something. So this guy is in perfect condition. There are no chips, no cracks. And uh, yeah, if you want a little piece of, little piece of Disneyland history, then, then this little guy is gonna be in my shops. Oh, let me see if I can find that. <laughs> Get him back in his bag there. Um, let's see. Oh, more bunny rabbits, more bunny rabbits. This is a set. Let me get them out. Um, keep them well protected. They're so cute. These are Home Co. as well. Uh, three cute little bunnies. We've got the girl on her little girl bunny on her scooter. Here's a little bunny in his pajamas with a book and a teddy bear. And then another one in footy pajamas with a teddy bear sucking, sucking his thumb or her thumb, their thumb. Um, and these are all from the same series. What is the little number on there? Uh, 1465. Yeah, I really need to put my glasses on. 1466. Anyway, it'll be on the listing. It'll tell you <laughs> what series they're from. But they're just beautiful. They're so cute. And they're in absolutely perfect vintage condition. Um, let me get those. Actually, I'll put those back in bags when I... They're done because I'm almost done. Almost done. Uh, last but not least, 
from the 70s. This is a beautiful uh, raffia basket. It is in excellent, excellent vintage condition uh, in the shape of a leaf. This is, um, yeah, I kind of thought this was a little bit of a prized find. So that is my final, my final item for today. It's this beautiful leaf basket. And that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little haul video. Again, this is Cynthia from Recollect and Ramble. Please, if you like haul videos, uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And uh, then, yeah, come back and visit me again. I'm going to have another haul video really soon. I've got a whole nother bag of items that I just purchased yesterday that need to be inventoried. I've got some Royal Copley. I have uh, what I suspect to be some fairly old McCoy pottery. Um, yeah, so so that's, that's just a little bit to look forward to. And while you're at it, check out my shops. The links are below. Um, check out my shops because I am getting things from the last video posted. Okay, you guys, thanks so much. I hope you're having a great weekend and I hope to see you right back here really soon. <laughs> thanks so much. Bye everybody.